Hey guys, so uh, in today's video, uh, I decided to create uh, a new world, a hardcore world, world that is made uh, with a specific reason. The reason is uh, basically I'm trying to survive in Minecraft hardcore mode for as long as possible. And I will be releasing these videos in series. So basically you have the hardcore world and I'm going to record every 10 days and then basically pile up everything that happened. And it's just a challenge to what day am I going to get to. Uh, the day come through will be shown on the top right. So yeah. It's time to get on to the video. Day 1. So, the first day was pretty usual. I spawned into the world and looked around. I spawned in a jungle biome and right next to me was a plains biome. Um, as any other guy, I, w I started punching a tree down. After I gathered the wood, I decided to mine some stone. After mining the stone, the only thing that was left to do was create some basic tools and pigs. After that, I killed some innocent pigs, only to see a bambus nearby and so I destroyed it. After that, I ventured deep, deeper into the jungle, only to find lakes and some melons. Later on, I actually escaped the jungle by going a bit to the left. Right after the jungle I found a birch forest which was a really nice place because birch wood is good. So I actually saw some trees burning in the distance so I mined, I mined some wood and went towards the fire. As I suspected it was a lava lake. While going through the jungle I killed some sheep cows and pigs which gave me food and wool and also some leather. The leather I would later on combine with sugarcane that I found in the birch forest. After seeing the lava lake I realized that the best thing in this situation would be to get obsidian and use it to create another portal. So out of the iron I found in the caves in the jungles I made an iron bucket that I would use with a water bucket to create another portal. The next day I decided the best thing for me right now would be to mine some materials before going to the nether. For as nether has piglins, hoglins and other things that will kill me easily. After mining to Y11 I digged in a straight line until I found a dark cave with a lava pond. In this cave I found iron and even 8 diamonds. After I went into the cave I soon realized that the cave was very very short. So right at the lava lake I decided to mine more to the left. After mining in a straight line, I soon found more diamonds, iron and gold, as well as some redstone. Um, oh, okay. This is what I call the greatest luck ever. After mining all the resources, I went back up and put all of the materials into my furnaces. And I also slept through the night, making it to day 3. On day 3, I mined some trees down and created some armor to venture into the nether. And now, it was the time. 
a time to venture in to the nether. The blazing hot lava, nether rack, piglins, hoglins, ghasts, blazes, wither skeletons. This is going to be a very, very risky situation. Huh? Right as I got in, a ghast started to fire at me. It isn't a very good start, but I defeated it and decided to mine some gold. Pretty close to my nether portal, I saw that there was a crimson forest that I could go into. And as someone who has played 1.16 before, I know that piglins can trade gold and piglins spawn in nether wastes, crimson forests and sometimes basalt deltas. So I ventured into the crimson forest expecting some piglins, but I also expected hoglins. I saw a piglin pretty close to me so I went after him and used my golden nuggets to create iron ingots that I would trade with the piglin with. The piglin gave me some decent loot like arrows, but right next to him was a ravine. And all the way down there I actually saw a darker block so I went to investigate. At first I thought it was netherite, but later on I discovered it's it was nether it was nether bricks. So I found a fortress right next to my nether portal. In the fortress I found a lot of things. At first there was many, many ways to go. But later on I just went in a way and decided to mark my way back. I found wither skeletons and then at some point I found a blaze spawner. I decided to get 10 blaze rods just in case and after killing 10 blazes I decided that before going back to the nether portal it might be pretty beneficial to find some chests with different things like horse armor, saddles and the flint and steel. Then on my way back I found wither skeleton the last one that I would kill for the rest of the day. And when I killed him, he dropped a wither skeleton skull, a mythical item that is used to spawn the mythical wither, a deadly beast. And now I had one of the three skulls needed to summon him, but I I didn't have the other two, and I definitely not going to spend more time in there. So I went back to the nether portal. When I got back from the nether, it was already day 5. I spent two entire days in the nether and now I'm back. And I started to realize that I'm going to need a base. I need to find a place to live. And so I decided to pack my things, mine some obsidian to later on build a portal with. And I ventured deeper into the unknown. I had spent the entire day packing my things and now I had to sleep. So I placed my bed and went to sleep. Day 6 Right after I woke up I ventured deeper and saw a mesa biome and right next to it was an enderman and so I went to fight it which nearly cost my life. My god, that's... it did so much damage, what? Right after nearly dying to an enderman, I, I went after the savannah biome and right when I was in front of it, I realized I could go to the left, to infinite sand, or go to the right, which is a plains biome, and in plains biome there, are, there is a pretty, pretty high chance of spawning a village. So I went to the right, towards the plain biome, and I instantly found a village. While in the village, I created two 
stone house and mined all of the hay bales that I found. I used the hay bales to make bread which uh, solved my hunger issues and right after I made the bread I decided to go after the horses and tame one of them. After taming the horse I decided to name him Greg in honor of my ravager on my survival world that nearly five months ago. After going back to the village I decided to mine some more hay bales until I got nearly a stack, killed the iron golem, sat onto my horse and went more to the south. After I went for about two minutes uh, the night fell once more. At this point I was on the top of this little mountain in the middle of the mesa biome. So I placed down my bed and went to sleep. Day 7 I woke up and sat onto my horse only to after about 10 seconds see that there was a desert biome right next to me. After riding my horse and traveling throughout the desert for about 10 minutes I found a village. A small desert village and right next to it was a desert temple. I instantly knew this is the place. I'm going to transform the desert temple into a living space. I'm going to live in a temple and reign terror on the villagers. At first I trapped a villager into a boat and then placed my horse into his house. Right next to the house I put a chest down, some furnaces, a bed and at first I didn't really think about going into the temple like not living in there just going and loot it so I looted the temple on, and I found some pretty nice stuff actually then I went back up and that's when I got the idea of living within the temple and so all the things that I put down into the house I'm now going to have to once again pick up and bring them into the temple but this is going to be a work for another day day 8 I started the day by building myself a nether portal which would be useful if I knew where I was in the nether since 8 blocks within the nether is just one block in the overworld meaning I should be pretty close to my original nether portal and I was right I was right next to the ravine with the nether fortress which is a win-win while in the nether I also traded with some piglins and then decided I don't really have anything to do in the nether right now so I went right back to the overworld after coming out of the nether I decided to mine some wood which would be a nice decoration for my new build. Sadly I couldn't get any more oak logs because the only forest near me was an acacia so I kinda went back to the temple and decided to make the first decorations as well as taking the chests, furnaces, beds and other things directly into the temple. And then I also destroyed some of the pillars within the structure, placed down a bed and went to sleep once more. Day 9 I decided the first thing to do in this day would be to break the chests and bring all of the items into the temple. 
as well as decorating the main room. I hate this so much. Bruh. I also decided to repair the roof of the pyramid, create a second floor, and put some torches into the lower and main level. Okay, this could work. Okay, now it's time for the roof and hmm, logs could look good. Yes, logs. Okay, this is perfect. After creating the second floor, I decided to kind of make a new design for the first one and started redesigning the room. But at the same time the night fell and I had to go to sleep. Day 10. I started day 10 by creating the final designs of the first room and then for, as the final day I decided to go exploring the terrain around me. Right before I went exploring, one of the design that I made was a window and I feel like it really, I mean really, belongs into this build and I'm kinda proud of it, yet it's still kinda garbage. It's time to add the final piece of the window, finally. Actually, it was pretty good. To be honest, while I was wandering through the desert, I found a temple and I actually found a god apple, notch apple, the enchanted golden apple. I mean, I feel like this is a really nice thing and it has a really nice placement in the timeline as well. It's in the 10th day and that's the last of this video so um actually really happy it it happened so yeah After taking all of the items, I returned back, and just as I returned, the night fell once more, ending the 10th day, and ending my final journey. Hey guys, if you're listening to this and watching this video, then you watched for the entire video, so congratulations, and I'm here to tell you that a bunch of people are not subscribed to my channel which is okay it's your choice to subscribe but this video took me 10 hours to edit IRL not kidding it actually took like about 10 hours it took me so long and this just made me realize uh, people who make the 100 days spending 100 days and things like that 
they spent so long in these videos it will really help me and them if you subscribed and liked so yeah subscribe and like and see you in my next video bye